Thank you for watching Arkansas 911 News. This is where your highway heroes do their thing. Is your car in a ditch? Are you in handcuffs? If so, there's a good chance you're going to need a wrecker truck. Tell that police officer to call Holcomb's Transport and Recovery, 767-9999. 24-7 roadside towing and emergency assistance for Garland County and beyond. Someone killed a policeman today, and a part of America died. A piece of our country he swore to protect will be buried with him at his side. The suspect who shot him will stand up in court with counsel demanding his rights, while a young widowed mother must work for her kids and spend many long, lonely nights. The beat that he walked was a battlefield too, just as if he had gone off to war. Though the flag of our nation won't fly half-mast, to his name they will add a gold star. Yep, somebody killed a policeman today, in your town or in mine. While we slept in comfort behind our closed doors, a cop put his life on the line. Now his ghost walks a beat on a dark city street, and he stands at each new rookie's side. He answered the call, to himself gave his all, and a part of America died. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the 2015 Peace Officers Memorial Service. I am Sergeant Mike Wright, President of Garland County Fraternal Order Police Lodge 26. And on behalf of the men and women of local law enforcement, again, I would like to welcome you to the service. Will you please stand with me for the posting of colors and remain standing for the national anthem by Miss Jessie Hall. Thank you, Jesse. Please remain standing for our invocation by Garland County Sheriff's Department Chaplain Ed Losey. Please bow with me, if you will. Father, as we come to you today on this solemn occasion, we uh, we can't be can't help but be reminded when we uh, listen to the news and hear a, a police officer has uh, been shot or killed in the line of duty uh, that. Um, it reminds us of our, our wall here and those have, that have gone before. Now, Father, we, we just lift up those families and, and uh, the friends that love them and, and uh, stood beside them. And, and um, Father, we, we just ask that your comforter would be with them. Father, as we go through this uh, service, we, uh, we just pray that it will be uh, not only an honor to the men and women that have gone before us, but also an honor to you, Lord. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I ask you to remain standing for just a moment longer while we observe the placing of the wreaths.
by members of the Hot Springs Police Department, Garland County Sheriff's Department, National Park Service, Hot Springs Village Police Department, and Arkansas State Police. Our keynote speaker this evening is Ms. Terry Harris, prosecuting attorney for the 18th East Judicial District. <coughs> Ms. Harris has been a deputy prosecutor for over 20 years and uh, last year was appointed the elected prosecutor following the retirement of her, uh, uh, her boss, Steve Oliver. Um, Terry has the distinct title of being the first female prosecuting attorney in Garland County. Uh, We're grateful to have her uh, address us this evening at this time, Ms. Terry Harris. Thank you, Mike. I hope everyone can hear me. Um, thank you to the FOP and to the law enforcement community. And I thank all of you citizens of Garland County who took your time out from your busy schedules to be here tonight. Your presence is a testament and a tribute to those we honor tonight. It's been close to 20 years since I stood in that courtroom over there and had the honor of prosecuting the individual who gunned down Chris Anderson with the Hot Springs Police Department. Not a day goes by that when I see a law enforcement officer that I don't think about that case and that trial. Needless to say, as prosecuting attorney, I see firsthand every day the dedication, the courage, and the sacrifice that law enforcement officers have who serve our community. A dedication to upholding the rule of law. A dedication to protecting all citizens from potential harm and a dedication to protecting life and liberty. In other words, our peace and security. Courage. The courage to get up every day and to face the unknown. To face the unpredictability of what goes on in the streets of this community. The courage to work in a profession that in some areas of this country has become despised, hated, and by some unwanted. The courage to act in a split second and place themselves in harm's way for the safety of our community, despite the dangers to themselves. Sacrifice. We're here tonight to ultimate to honor the ultimate sacrifice that nine men made to law enforcement in Garland County. These men willingly faced the unknown. They put themselves in harm way voluntarily. Their lives have built a safer place for all of us to live and to work and to raise our families. Dedication, courage, and sacrifice. But we all know because of this memorial that despite the best equipment, the best training, and the best medical care in the world, that is not going to provide total protection for our law enforcement. Law enforcement is a very dangerous profession and every potential assignment, every assignment is potentially life-threatening. Amazingly though, Despite the dangers of the job, more than 800,000 sworn law enforcement officers across the nation put their lives at risk each and every day to keep America safe. 
As human beings, we have very short memories. We will leave this ceremony tonight and go on with our busy lives. And that's just the way it is in the busy world in which we live. But fortunately, we have memorials such as this to ensure that the officers who gave their lives for the cause of justice will not fade from our memories. May their dedication, their courage, and their sacrifice inspire all of us to do justice to their memories and the ideals they held dear. Thank you very much. In a moment, we're going to do the roll call of fallen officers. And as I read the names, I would ask that if there are any family members of the heroes that are on the wall, when I read those names, will you please stand? Sheriff Jake Halp, end of watch, August 17th, 1910. Deputy Sheriff Roe Brown, end of watch, October 14th, 1920. Chief of Police Robert Oscar Sullivan, end of watch, April 14th, 1924. Ranger James Carey, end of watch, March 12th, 1927. Lieutenant Columbus Garrett, end of watch, October 29th, 1955. Sergeant Wayne Warwick, end of watch, July 24th, 1984. Reserve Sergeant Bill Baruti, end of watch, April 23rd, 1991. Captain Al Riley, end of watch, April 23rd, 1991. Officer Chris Anderson, end of watch, February 12th, 1996. As you can tell by the list of names that fortunately it's been several years since we've had to add a name to our wall of heroes. And for that, we are very thankful. We have discovered through research that there are some other uh, line of duty deaths, some other heroes that gave their lives uh, we're still trying to verify some of that information and, and we'll hopefully have those names added to our wall soon. Chief Chamberlain. At this time we have a special presentation by Bridget Maynard and Lexi Newburn of the Woodman of the World. And receiving this presentation will be Chief Deputy of Corrections, Mark Chamberlain. Now I'm going to ask everyone to stand one more time, please, as we observe a moment of silence.
The Bible tells us that Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, He said, Blessed be the peacekeepers, for they are the children of God. The men we've honored here tonight, and the men and women who will be honored across the country this week, it doesn't matter the shape of their badge, it doesn't matter the agency they work for, or the color of the uniform. None of that matters. What matters is that these men and these women are your public servants. They're your friends, they're your family. They're my brothers and sisters, and they are all of our heroes. At this time, I would like to ask Chaplain Losey to come forward again for the benediction. Bow with me, please. Father, as I look around and see the different agencies and the fire department and our EMTs and, and uh, every agency here in this law enforcement. Uh, Father, we, we just pray for each one of these men and women here and, their, and the men and women, the brothers and sisters there in their agencies that as they do their job, as they go on their assignments, as they go out on the streets and, and do what uh, is assigned for them to do, Lord, we pray that we don't forget to pray for them and we don't forget to remind ourselves that uh, they're out there when we don't see them doing the jobs that, that most people don't even understand that they do. Father, we know that uh, you're watching over them and uh, we just ask you to continue to allow your Holy Spirit to watch over them and, and in those uh, quiet times in the patrol car and, in the back of a van, Lord, we, we just pray that, uh, that they will be reminded of you, Father. And Father, as, uh, as we go to the end of this uh, memorial, we pray for those families, their families, Lord, that, uh, that they might be comforted and they might be uh, have a special touch by you, Lord, that, that uh, the worry doesn't come every time or every day. Uh, that uh, their family members are out there on the street. Father, we love you. We thank you. And Father, we're going to believe you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, thank you for your attendance this evening. We would like to invite you to stay for refreshments just around the corner here. May you have a safe trip home and God bless.